Okay, we're back here with Pingendo. And what we're going to look at is how to change the color of your navigation bar. So what we've done is open up Pingendo. I click here on the screen and I'm going to go for a blank uh, document. So I will just move the window up here and make it a little bit bigger. And up in the section tab on the left, there's two options in the header. There's one that does a cover image and there's one that just does a navigation bar. I'll just start off with the navigation bar. So I drag that onto the design window here. Now, once I've done that, you can see over in the settings, it's got some customizable options for it. Where it's got inverse, if I click on the inverse and it inverses it to black, or I just have it, um, I think it's a gray color. So they're the only two options you've got. There's no other options to change colors. So if you wanted to change this color, you would have to go down into the less and sass tab and do it from there within the style sheet. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it on inverse. So I'll click on the tick on inverse and it goes black. Now what I'll do is I'll go down to the bottom and I'll drag out so I've got my tab here which has got HTML and the tab on the right that is less and SAS. Now what um, Pingendo has, it has this is all um, less which is a, a pre-processor for making style sheets. Now you'll find that it has at signs because what pre-processors do such as um, less and also SAS is create variables so you can um, you know, speed up doing your your, your, your um, style sheets. Now everything is on here because it's just a bootstrap uh, style sheet. So absolutely everything is in, in this style, regardless of what component you have up here. This is obviously some drawbacks to having frameworks that, you know, they, there's lots and lots of uh, sort of a spaghetti soup of uh, styles. Now, if I keep on going, and what you'll see is you've got these um, commented out notes on here. So this gives you um, an indication of what the um, scripting, the style sheeting is, is about. So you can actually go down there and see this. Now, I've always gone through this and found out where I need to find my um, section to customize the color of this nav bar. Now I've gone all the way down here and it's got commented it out, it's got nav bar. Underneath that, it's got nav bar basics. So I'll just show you a quick way of customizing the nav bar. So at the bottom, it's got uh, 50 uh, pixels here where it's got um, nav bar height. Now say for example, if I want to make it twice as big, I type in 100 like that and you will see the nav bar has now doubled so it's got larger so that's some of the things you can do down here now be careful when you are changing things here because it may have knock-on effects on other parts of the design so you might find you change the color of background and your text will end up being the same color and it will disappear so bear that in mind now once i've got that that's just as quick way as i can make it higher i need to now change the the background color um, of the bar so if i now go down and i see here in this section here which has got um three seven seven it's got nav bar default bg background and it's got hexadecimal value now what you would do is put in a hexadecimal value so i'll just take that out and i'll just type in blue okay so i typed in blue I'll just click away from that. You'll see up here, nothing's happened. And the reason nothing's happened is over here, we have it on inverse. If I turn inverse off, you'll see it goes blue. Now, the other thing we can do is we can go down to, once we've done blue here, we can go down to where it has um, the inverted nav bar. So the in inverted nav bar, it has all the information and all the styles to change it. And then a line 403, it has nav bar inverse background. Again, has a hexadecimal value. I'll just get rid of that. And this time I'm gonna type in red. I'll just click away from that. You'll see nothing has happened. Now, when I come up here and turn the inverse on, on the right in the settings, you'll see it will now go red. So that's what it switched between. We set the um, the ordinary default 
one up here on blue and then we've changed the inverse one to red so that's just a way of changing that quite quickly you can go through and, and change it's got lots of other things in there to do with hover when you hover over it what color it's going to change also it's got information uh, and style sheets to change also the the text color okay that's just a quick way of changing the background color on your navigation bar you might be able to have a play around with other settings here in the style sheets within the less and css um, to see how you can change um, parts of the styling on the components you have on the page but again be very very careful because if you do change one one uh, of the styles or a color this may mean it might have a knock-on effect on something else such as a hover or the color of the text and there may not be contrast on those objects so they you may end up with black text on a black background so have a play around uh, go through it it's very good because lots of things are commented out and they explain what those different styles do